<coughs> we good? Jadwin's wearing a diaper again. And I can't breathe. I wanted to just share how I amuse myself. And I do amuse myself. I think I am the funniest person ever. I am hilarious. Sorry. I know that's what prideful, but the truth hurts. So, one of my favorite things is making stuff up. And I love it when I make stuff up and people take it as the, as the gospel truth. And then it and then I forget I said it because, you know, I have a horrible short-term memory now. But I can remember stuff I did 20 years ago. That's all locked in here tight. And I can, I can spew that out real fast. But I like it when I tell people just ridiculous stuff. And uh, so I was thinking, because um, at Bible study last night, we had Molinaro's Pizza. And they have the sweet sauce. Um, that's why I don't like pizza, pizza oven, because they have that sweet sauce. It's a lot, everybody loves it for some reason, and I'm just like, that stuff makes me want to gag. And whenever my family from out of town would visit my grandparents, they'd be like, let's all get some pizza oven. And I'd be like... And, I, you know, I'd have to choke a piece down or I'd be hungry. And it was just, just gross. So one day I was talking to Grandma. And I think the, this must have been after Grandpa passed. I guess it doesn't really matter. We were talking to Grandma about pizza oven pizza. And I go, Grandma, they put crack in their pizza. You don't want to order from there. They're, they don't. They're not a very good place of business. They they sell drugs. <laughs> and then I promptly forget that I tell her this. And so then I'm visiting my cousins in Indiana after this has been said. And my cousin goes, we, we tried to order pizza oven with grandma and she wouldn't let us because she said they put crack in the pizza. And we didn't know why she said that. We, you know, they just thought it was the rantings of an old person. And then I started laughing. I go, no, I told her that. I told her you put crack in the pizza because I don't like it. And they were disappointed, obviously, because they like their pizza oven. But I was like, oh, I'm hilarious. And also my favorite April Fool's joke. When I told everyone that I was going to be on Fear Factor for months after I said it was an April Fool. People are like, so when's your episode, Aaron? And I'd be like, it's not. It's not even a little bit Aaron. Fear factor. That's some funny stuff right there. And I, that's how I amuse myself. I make stories up and then I tell them and then when they come back to me, I, I, I snicker a little like, <laughs> Sucker, you fell for my story. I don't know. That's that kind of stuff makes me giggle. And and when I would teach my niece dumb stuff too, um, like uh, teaching her the phrase "I gotta take a power dump." Mind you, she's she's a, she's more than an adult now. She's in her twenties. But she was like three or four at the time. And when I found out she repeated it when I wasn't there. And I was like, I was just tickled. I was like, that's hilarious stuff. <coughs> <coughs> Why did Jack throw the butter out the window? He wanted to see a butterfly. Ha! I got it. He wanted to see a butterfly. Am I right? Am I right? Oh, look at my B. Arthur. Um... What else amuses me to no end? Um, I don't know. Just those little things amuse me. And then um, I was watching the Trues do a show tonight. 
um, a couch concert. And then right after that, on my screen on Facebook, just boom, pops up Better Than Ezra. The song Good. That was like their original first song and I it took me back to senior year 1996 memories and I and then I remember I think it was freshman year of college we missed the Buffalo show and I was like well we gotta go see better than Ezra Philadelphia is nearby mind you this is before GPS. This is when maps were a thing. I can't read a map. The three people I brought with me also cannot read a map. We went to AAA, and they had um, trip tickets where they dumb up the map for you so that they they route they give you the path. That is the GPS. We were able to follow it mostly. We did screw up a little. We got a little lost. But we we drove to Philadelphia. Me thinking it's close by. It's an eight hour drive, by the way. Um, so we could see better than Ezra. And uh, that was interesting. We stayed, at our, we stayed at a hotel. We drove there for the night. And that's when you're kids and you can stay up forever. And then we went to the show. We took a cab. And my friends made me sit in the front with the creepy driver. Thanks, friends. And um, we were all, because we're kids, we were like, what, 18 or 19? We were all scared. And I'm, I'm sitting in the front, like, oh, oh dear, oh dear. But it was good. It was good. We got to the show. We, we told him where we wanted to go. We're like, we want to go to this place. And he goes, where's that? And I go, I don't know. We're not from Philadelphia. You are, buddy. Find it. Again, before GPS, um, before Uber, this was a real live taxi driver. Ugh, good times. That was, that was so much fun. I really, and then we, there were the creepy, there was this creepy drunk guy at the concert making us all kinds of uncomfortable. And as an adult now, I, I would have. You know, I wouldn't have put up with that stuff. But as a kid, we just kind of cowered in the corner. Um, and of course, I wanted, I wanted, I'm always want to be right next to the stage at a show. And when I could stand for shows, we'd be standing right by the stage. I would squeeze in and move until I get to the front row. And then um, now I, I get the handicap seating. And those those aren't bad seats. They're they're close to the stage. And if they're not that close to the stage, I at least have a good view of the band. And that's important to me. Cause I like to be right up on the band. It's my thing. It's my thing. Um Oh, I remembered the other funny thing I wanted to tell you about my niece that I taught my niece. And I this was, I was actually trying to do good here. I was not trying to teach her anything bad. I was trying to teach her how to pray. And, and I was like, and at the time my sister and her were living in an apartment building. I think they were on the second floor. And I was like, Diana, we have to pray before you go to bed. And she's like, Okay. Because uh, my sister used to let me babysit her. And so um, I was like, all right, so we're going to pray, put your hands together, you know. And we're going we're gonna to pray to God. And I pointed to the ceiling. And she's like, okay. And I go, it's the man upstairs. We're praying to the man upstairs. Well, apparently... I think that left an impression upon her because she always asked about the man upstairs. At least that's how I remember the story. And I was like, oh, now I've got her freaked out. She thinks there's a weird man upstairs. And and I was really just trying to teach her about God. And I was, 
I, I had good intentions with that one. I, I The other power dump, that was definitely not a good intention. <sighs> so I decided not to work tomorrow. Any overtime, I'm going to chill with the dogs. And hopefully, Jadwin seems to be sad today or maybe not feeling too good. He's been grumbling. So hopefully he's... Hopefully he's all right. I don't want to have to find the doggy thermometer. I don't know where I put it. And Jadwin certainly doesn't like it when I stick it up his bum. So now that you've heard about that, I'm going to go to bed. It's way past my bedtime. It's what, like nine? Yeah. I'm not ashamed to admit I go to bed early. I like going to bed early. I like sleeping. Feels good. Alright, I hope you all have a good night. I hope you got a small chuckle from my silly stories. And if you didn't, oh well. Oh, and if Kim watches this, I just want to say, hey, it was so cool running into you. So totally random running into you at, <laughs> I was going to say, at the massage parlor. But um, as I was leaving for a massage, Kim was coming in to get one. Um, how funny is that? And uh, her gentleman was there. Um, so that was cool. He's like, I've watched her videos too. And I'm like, I'm sorry. Um, but that's cool. I like, I'm, I'm trying to leave a legacy here. All right, y'all have a good night. I'll talk at you later. Bye-bye. Nice, Mr. Finger. Dur, dur, dur. I. Okay. Look, it's touching my nose. Dur, 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 dur. Okay. Goodbye.